Do IRAs and 401ks differ in terms of creditor protection? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor Chris Barry. So both of these accounts, both IRAs and 401ks are what's called qualified accounts. So qualified accounts, one thing to keep in mind is that there is no Medicaid slash long-term care protection for either one of these accounts. So if you were to need nursing home care, anything inside of your 401k, IRA, et cetera, would have to be spent down, whether it's in your name, whether it's in your spouse's name, those are all countable assets, meaning they count towards that nursing home or Medicaid protection. But what they do offer is a form of creditor and bankruptcy protection. And there is a difference. The difference is that uh, 401ks fall under ERISA, so they fall under federal. IRAs fall under state law. And here's a little interesting distinction is IRAs uh, are protected up to a $1.3 million from creditors and bankruptcies. 401ks have unlimited protection. So if protection from like a bankruptcy is something that's super duper important to you, then maybe that is a reason why to keep money inside of a 401k. But keep in mind, either way to get that type of protection, you would still have to go through a bankruptcy, which could be a big pain in the butt, right? Um, another easier option if liability or creditors are concerned would be to getting umbrella coverage. Like an umbrella policy through your property and casualty guy, uh, typically you're going to get about a million dollars worth of coverage for maybe $200 a year. So it's super cheap. So if, I guess, protection from creditors, not Medicaid or nursing home is a big concern, uh, I almost wouldn't want to rely on the bankruptcy protection. I'd rather just pay a, a couple extra hundred bucks a year to build in that umbrella uh, protection. Okay. Uh, but yes, you do have more asset protection inside of a 401k. So maybe if your big concern is asset protection, maybe that's a reason why to move that IRA into a 401k. Um, but I guess there's different ways to do that. And first, I'd look to something that wouldn't force you to go through a bankruptcy. I would look at maybe umbrella protections. Uh, and keep in mind, even though you do have this creditor protection, uh, it does not apply to the IRS, nor does it protect against kind of spousal claims. So whether it's in a 401k or IRA, uh, understand that it's not protected for long-term care purposes. It's not protected for any IRS issues. You don't want to mess with the IRS and uh, any type of spousal slash divorce issues. Either way, whether it's 401k or IRA, it's not necessarily protected. <music>